omo jezebel awon omo satan eke to ba fe yoju baba okay so victor needs some reassurance in the yes i will Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Vic Styles, the one, the only, the baddest, the dress, style of my latile, latile new my styler, today is white wedding day, please subscribe to the channel, turn the bell so you notified every time I drop new videos on the channel every Sunday, Wednesday 7pm on DOT, follow on Instagram Vic Styles, Twitter Vic Styles, Snapchat, Vic Styles, everything, TikTok, Vic Styles, why is this? Everything is literally big styles. Today is my wedding day, and obviously I will be vlogging for you guys. Mm -hmm. Just finished doing my makeup. I'm going to check on my brother. I'm going to check on my brother now. My twin. What are these people? Mm. Oh, why would I take cocaine? Okay. Oh, no, I've never. Ah, baby, they group you're taking cocaine. Who takes cocaine? At your no. I saw it on the floor. Yeah. I think we can't handle the weed though. That's why we're doing corn corn. Of course. Why? The mama will run the money last to the bank. Mommy, stop complaining. Ah, you somebody would think that you wear it all the time. Okay, don't wear socks even. No, because I'm. You need to buy their food. You must put socks so not one that. No, it's just it's just a normal black like normal like not black like sports socks. Normal black socks. Guys, you know when they sit down, the socks always. The Lori Christie and Pata Baba Oluajori there, Oluajo Shebe, Baba Umwa Yota and Sheni Tiondo and you Baba Oluajo Kubawa Dojo Ale O Baba Oluajo Rayo Nibe, Oluajo Rayo Nibe. But my to my wife, he be be ya Oluajo and Tiondo and you Baba Baba Alafi and you Oluafi from O Ombobo Oluajo Lolo to to. I want my Jesse Belly. I want more satani. He get to buy fair yoju baba. He download on that go buy. Any kind of to buy this alcohol. Fair wala to wala that be ya we no ru. He no ru ko joro. He no ru ko joro. That buy any kind of to buy fair no walk or walk baba. O walk or walk to buy fair no lo ajo coffee no la wo. O lo ajo coffee la no la wo. Baba bu wo lo tamalo baba. O lo asorande with the fire of wall. He that. Just need to go outside. Yeah, you can take your own. Um, you can actually start taking your own personal ones now. Yeah. And yeah. if the grooms are ready. Okay. Because Baladi said upstairs they it be behind. They're behind, is it? Yeah. Because one of the girls didn't like their makeup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't like their makeup. Yeah. So they yeah, didn't like their makeup. Again. One of the girls, yeah. It's me for this looking so nice. I can't cry. I'm best going to do me hair now. Do Becky's hair. Wear me dress. Me mother's ironed me dress for me. Stolen. Lock on the door. Like it's not good there, but ah, I'm going to have a little bit for today.
Oh, I know you. Nice. <laughs> business, just how many minutes? together according to the will of God concerning marriage? Yes, I do. Will you love him? Yes, I will. Honor him? Yes, I will. And cherish him throughout your life? Yes, I will. Will you reject other men and cleave to him alone as <laughs> no, long no, no. as you both <laughs> shall live? Yes, I will. That's not what I'm sounding yet. Okay, he, <laughs> <laughs> Victor needs some reassurance in there. Yes, I will. <laughs> okay, amen. Amen. I'm going to hand it over to Pastor Mary and she will conclude the, this part of Bold enough to remove his name and then hand over this lovely lady to this joyous, bubbling. Young man, who did that? Holding the right hand of the woman, the right hand, hold the right hand. Thank you. And you say after me, Victor. You will say, I. 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 Victor. Victor. Pledge. Pledge. To continue. To continue. To accept you. To accept you. Oyenda. Oyenda. As my wife. As my wife. Forever. Forever. To have. To have. And to hold. And to hold. For better. For better. In plenty. In plenty. In health, in health, and in all circumstances, and in all circumstances, I will love you. I will love you, and cherish you, and cherish you, according, according to the will of God, to the will of God, for the rest, for the rest of my life, of my life, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Ida, hold your man's hands, right hands. Yeah? You hold it? Yes. And you say after me. I, Oyinda. I, Oyinda. Pledge. Pledge. To accept you. To accept you. Victor. Victor. As my husband. As my husband. To have. To have. And to hold. And to hold. For better. For better. In plenty. In plenty. 
in health, in health and, in and in all circumstances. I will cherish, I will cherish and, obey you and obey you according to the will of God, to the will of God for, the rest of my life. for the rest of my life. In the name of the Father, the, name of the, Father, the, Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. This rings, we're going to bless in the presence of the Most High God. And we pray that this ring will not be a prison, Amen. will not be a bandage. Amen. It's an everlasting circle, which will signify the everlasting love of God, Amen. the protection, Amen. the overshadowing glory of God. Amen. Whenever you wear these rings, the ringing of joy, the ringing of favor, the ringing of songs of victory, songs of rejoicing, shall ring in your home. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will fence you right. Amen. Victor, from every Delilah's, Amen. Jezebel's, Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and for every word that will break you, break your vow to me, and to God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There will never be an occasion where you will remove this way. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every time you wear this ring, you will look at your husband and you say, Ah. Your love is running over, running over me. Amen. Mighty devotion, Jesus. Amen. There will never be a time you will feel oppressed. Amen. Subjected. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. But all you will feel is the surrounding security that we will give you. Amen. And the glory that you will receive from God to be able to cover you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So in the name of the Lord, we bless this ring. In the name of the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let this be a token, Amen. a physical token of this marriage. Amen. And we declare what God has joined together. children of just in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You know that they have proved you. They have witnessed. They have not denied you. And so Father, glorify your children with the glory that you created them from the throne of grace. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bless them, O Lord. Amen. Bless them, O Lord. Let them be fruitful. Amen. Let them multiply. Amen. Amen. Whatever it is that will not let you be fruitful, we plead the blood of Jesus. Amen. Spiritually, we present unto you, Mr. and Mrs. Kiss. 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 
Oh, if you are waiting for me to say the kids the bride, I do not know why I should be the one to be saying that. My husband kissed me without anybody to
Yeah, share one, share one, share one. Share one, share one. There's a trick here. There's two straws. There's two straws. Two hot tabitas. Two with the strength of the same straw. Here, 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 here. Oh, oh, oh. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. They wanted to share three. If you don't like it, I'll take the rest of it. 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 I'll Oh, my God. 
enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Your people cannot witness. Maybe you don't witness today, but I thank God for my life. I'm, I'm on today to witness today. Alright? Also, I would like to thank all the guests that are here. Thank you so much for coming. To my new fellow, I thank you so much. The person of Mr. Amis Adewale, thank you so much. So much. <laughs> Give me your daughter my hand. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I want to thank everybody. Come from America, from Canada, from Nigeria, from all over the world. We celebrate my son right behind me here. I'm happy, happy, more than happy. I thank you all for, all for coming. I wish you all good luck in Jesus' name. Amen. I wish you safe to the back to wherever you come from. From London, from Dublin. From every part of the world you come from, I wish you all the joy. Amen. And I wish all of you will celebrate this, even the little one that is the smallest person in this hall, to do this to their, to their own children. Amen. Thank you all for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for the ones. That's what I said. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let us rejoice for rejoice! Um, first of all, I just want to thank God Almighty um, for having us all together here today to witness this beautiful day for Yenda and, and Victor. Honestly, I don't know what to work with that. Sorry. Um, can you hear me now? Um, it's been a long journey, but I just thank God for both of your lives. Um, I met Oyinda when we were in college, and it's funny because when we first met, Oyinda was so mean to me. She, she was so mean. Like she just didn't like me. Like. If I spoke to her, she just give me side eye. Like she was so horrible. The only time, <laughs> well, no, 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 no. <laughs> the only time she actually spoke to me was because we wanted to attend the party and she had nothing to wear, and I had nice clothes, and she asked me to borrow her clothes, uh, dress. And because I borrowed her the dress, that's why she started talking to me. So, but ever since that day, literally, we have been inseparable. Like we have been joined together, like one word that I would use to describe us, describe our, our friendship is that our friendship was, was so intentional. Like I definitely believe that God put us in the same place for a reason. Like we have been through so much together, like we live together and even when Oinda and Victor started dating, we were literally living together and she told me she was talking to Victor. And I came back from college and I didn't see Oyinda. And I was like, Oyinda, where are you? She's like, Victor came to surprise me. I was like, what? She was like, Victor came to surprise me. So Victor came and he took her out. And obviously, you know, college is hard and it's tough financially. And I was waiting for this girl to come back home. And this girl came back with flour and a teddy bear. And I said, where's the food? She came back with no food for me. She enjoyed herself with Victor by herself. But anyways, um, but so from that day, like Victor has literally like shown us how much like he wanted me that he saw in that and he knew that this was gonna be my wife. Like he could, he could have, like there was no doubt in my mind that this guy wasn't here for the right reasons. He was here for the genuine reason. And all I since they started dating, like all I've asked God is that God, if this is meant to be, let it be. And us gathered here today tells us that this was meant to be. Like what God has put together, no man can put us under. And we are witnesses of two people that God has ordained to be together. I'm so proud of my friend. 
Like, honestly, like, it's one thing to be, be friends with someone that when you make mistakes, you learn and we keep growing. Like, where we are today, we've made mistakes, we've done things that we shouldn't have done, but we have learned and we have grown, and we are standing, I'm standing here today so proud of you, Oyinda. I'm so honestly proud. I wanted today to be perfect for you, and no, it, whatever it took from me to make this day perfect, because you deserve will forever, forever, forever be beautiful. And I'm, and I'm so happy that I'm able to trust that you are in safe hands. I know that Victor's going to take care of you. I know that he's going to always be there for you. And I know Ayinda. Ayinda can be stubborn, so Victor, just be patient. <laughs> Please. <Okay. laughs> so good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Prosper, if you don't know. Um, I'd like to thank you all for coming out today for this special occasion to celebrate Victor and Ayinda. Now, I've known Victor for how long? More than 15 years. More than 15 years, over 15 years of friendship. And I'd like to thank him for making me the best man today. Yeah. One thing that you might not know about Victor, you see him nice and calm and relaxed right now. But when we, we was younger, he was a hothead. He was always fired up, ready to fight, ready to kill. <laughs> All the aunties and uncles in the church, this was the guy that wanted to attack them. <laughs> but it's because this beautiful lady right beside him, that he's calm, relaxed and composed right now. And we give God all the glory. It's like, through this marriage, I will be by them. My name is Uche, everybody. Anything. If you see Victor, Victor's here, call me. My name is Uche, you went to it. Go on LinkedIn. I'm here. If you, if you can't get through with Victor, get through to me. That is why I owe you today. So thank you guys today. Um, I'm not one to plan my speeches. Because when, what I say in this exact moment, is what my spirit is saying. So that means I come from a very deep place. Before I start that, um, I want to thank absolutely everybody. Everybody looks gorgeous today. I see the blue, white, I see the suits, the blouses, I see everything. And it's absolutely beautiful. Um, actually, I should say that when it comes to all of this, um, Oyinda is really the one that set this all up. If I was to be very honest with you. She had the vision from the very start. And us men sometimes were like, oh, what do you need this for? What do you need those flowers for? What do you need that for? I'm very picky when it comes to particular things, but Ayinda had a particular vision of how she wanted today to be. You know, from the lights, to the flooring, to the you know emblem on the floor. Absolutely everything you see today is Ayinda. So can we please give Ayinda a rousing round of applause? Yes, um, I want to thank all the bridesmaids. You girls are absolutely fantastic. From day one to day now, you guys have been, you know, 100 miles per hour when it comes to a yinda. So I really, really want to thank you all. And uh, don't worry, when it comes to your turn, I will be there. And I will be partying. Yes. To my groomsmen, God knows. That's all I have to say. They, I've had some of my best moments in life with these guys. That's why they're there for a reason. And even in, at my lowest point in life, these guys were very present. Each and every one of you, I derive something from, from you. Each and every one of you has a particular characteristic that I want. I would say that, you know, concerning all of you, it's healthy competition because I see all of you as my brothers, you guys are succeeding, doing well in your particular field, and I don't want to be left behind. So that means I have to work hard. So please keep on working hard, so I can pay the bills. Um, but I really want to thank absolutely all of you for all your hard work. You know, I know a lot of you, especially with five came from Dublin, uh, you know, and everyone is absolutely present here. Oh, Gaga came from the Netherlands. so annoying. My uncle's giving me some good advice. Um, but yeah, thank you very much, guys. I, re I really appreciate you. 
Um, I really want to appreciate the people from JCD. I see our guy mom, I see Prosper's mom. I've known them since, since 15 years, 16 years. That's how far I've known them. So thank you very much for accommodating me as a, as a friend. Um, True Vine Center. This church, if you ask, if you ask Prosper and Agaga and all the other guys if they know me from way back, I, I, church was not really a thing for me. I usually, usually hated it. Even Prosper is trying to say something now, but I don't want him to say it. <laughs> but ever since I came to London five years ago, struggling to look for a church, or well, Yinda actually brought me here as her boyfriend, someone she wants to marry. And this church has embraced me. Um, Pastor Mary, I wanted to see her. Uh, yeah, if you can get her, please. But well, first and foremost, I'm, I'm still going, I'm still going. I like to talk, actually, by the way. So, we know. Um, so what I also want to do is, I want to, my siblings. Victoria, which is my twin. Rebecca, my older sister, come here, come here, my confidant, come here. And Esther, the youngest, what the fiery. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. And these hair are, these make up my heart. Vic, please don't start crying. Oh, Vic, Vic, stop. Stop, Vic, stop. These people have seen me since I'm tiny till now. It's my first birthday in, uh, in King's Hospital, is it? Carry me. Thank you very much for celebrating my big day with Oyinda. How can I say this? Was I the easiest son to deal with? No. Hell no. <laughs> did I disobey them at times? Yes. <laughs> but did I respect them? Yes. I work hard. And the reason I work hard is because they work hard. They're not lazy people. When we were growing up, all the stuff that we, although we didn't have the best of stuff for this and this and that and that, at least I was able to see the hard work. My mom would go for a uh, Bluefield. She was working at a hospital. Work from 8 to 8. Not a lot of people can do 8 to 8. If I did 8 to 8, I'd, be, I'd just collapse. <laughs> My dad would pick up the taxi car, would go from, let's say, 3 o'clock till the next day, just to put the food on the table, pay the bills. And that's work ethic. And if they can come up, my mom and dad, if they can come up, they can they help me get to where I am today. All the hard work, all the advice, has got me to where I am today. Daddy? If the world was to end tomorrow, I'd say that I've had a fulfilled life. You know, just from this moment, I've had a fulfilled life. Is there more to come? Yes. You know, and we will celebrate at the end of the day every last single one of us. Thank you very much, Daddy. I still say Daddy. Some people say Dad. I say Daddy. I still say Mom. Because they are Daddy and they are Mom. I'm just about there at the moment. <laughs> Her name is Oyin. Oyin. That means sweet, no? Honey. Honey. And I've overdosed on the honey. Let me tell you a quick story. I promise this would be very good. Nice. And I as well. Um, 
the first time I saw you there, it was not face to face. It was not in a party or whatever. It was on the phone. Uh, as Prosper explained, I wasn't the nicest, you know, no model in church. You know. I got picked out of class, I got sent to the main church. And then one of the guys had his phone out. I said, oh, you're taking pictures of people. Oh, yeah, I do this for my photography. Let me check your work. No problem. I scrolled through. And then I saw this beautiful damsel. Pretty. I said, ooh, who is this thing? And then he's like, oh, she's in a relationship, all that sort of stuff. I was like, no problem. I put them on a time in TikTok. I said, no problem. They went by, two years went by. I said, no problem, no problem. Not that I wish I had a problem. It could have been him, but it wasn't. Um, but I remember the first time I saw him, that I decided that I got to marry this woman. In fact, the very first person I spoke to about her, you know, was my older sister. Thank you. I immediately, uh, we met up in the Dublin City Centre, we went to Jimmy Chong's, who knows Jimmy Chong's? <laughs> she didn't give me a kiss on the first day, so I said, no, but I'll give you a kiss on the forehead if you don't kiss me, that's fine. <laughs> With consent. <laughs> um, and ever since then, I work hard when it comes to you. Um, I think that deserves I've always said that Ayinda is, she's just not like a, oh, a girlfriend or this or that, she's a wife. From the first day I saw her, it's wife. I told her, actually the first time I saw her, I said I wanted to marry you. Obviously yeah, as a student I didn't have much in my pocket, but you know, we can make small with what we have, you know. But Ayinda has taught me patience, because I've had to show a lot of patience. Um, the university, you know, you think you gotta get the good grades to make sure you get the good job. And when you have the good job, you need to make sure you're stable first, have your house, and then you can marry. And me and Linda have built a lot. Although we weren't married, but we built a lot together. You know, university, studying together. Afterwards, when it comes to our career as well, oh, do they pay well? Actually, these people pay well. Go with them. Oh, we actually need more money. Let's work harder. She knows this. We worked very, very hard, and as a team. When we got married last year, we did the civil registry. The prior beforehand, I told her, you know, that this isn't a, oh, uh, I'm the man, this is this, so I have to lead, all that sort of stuff. Although I do have to lead, but it's 50 50. The amount of equity I have in this marriage, she has it as well. Oh, we need to do this. She needs to sign up for that as well. We need to go right. She needs to sign up for that as well. So that at least the honey I derive from this marriage, she derives from it too as well. Are you the. How can I say this? God is number one in my life. Well, after God is. And it has always been you. No matter what. And when the, obviously, look at her beautiful and whatnot, even 60, 70 years from now, you'll still be beautiful and I'll still love you the same way. Through the good and through the bad, I'll still love you. When you like my head, I'll still love you. When I don't get things my way, I'll still love you. But you still love me too. And that's what counts, love and patience. That's what I've learned. We, we show patience to each other, we show love to each other. And that love is just is tiny at the moment. It's gonna grow and grow and grow and grow. And it's gonna overflow. Thank you very much for choosing me. I know I'm not the best out of the bunch, but I'm the most promising out of the bunch. Come on! Come on! So, if everybody can...
so so big like when you when a man <laughs> loves you like they <laughs> Victor really, really showed that from the very beginning, and he has not changed one bit. His love just continues to grow and grow and grow. And our marriage has been so beautiful. There's always every single part to you. I know I complain sometimes when you lecture me when I do something I'm not supposed to do. <laughs> but even Ada put it so nicely into words that the amazing husband, Victor Johnson. In this room, even down to our vendors, Tate Haven, um, Mr. Abby, Jamira Pro, DJ Tornis, and Tonye, S together that's the first thing i want you both to do put the knife together you are going to be united you have been united since you got married yeah. right and room look at yourselves yeah. let's go again l yeah. o oh. v e ladies and gentlemen a big big round of applause for mr and mrs johnson as they caught into their king Yeah.